Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It's hard to come to terms with it, but the last loss was my fault. Even if the game put us in a position to lose, it was our fault. Uh, my fault, specifically. For not taking Guppy's uh, paw, which we should have done. D-Y-J-D-H-E-S-Y. -E I figure, um, well, we're just kind of taking a little bit of a, you know, forced sobriety from Eden Streak. I'm going to force myself into some Eden sobriety. Um, mm, I think it's worth taking, even though it's not... Super incredible. Low rate of fire, but very high uh, damage on those tiers if they actually hit. I'll take that. Um, but yeah, well, well, we'll take a little bit of time off from Eden and do some random runs just to get reacquainted with the characters. I mean, we do get a little taste of the characters anyway on the dailies that we do, but I've been doing a lot more non-daily runs than daily runs lately, so a little bit of variety never hurt, even though Eden is, I guess, implicitly the most variety you could ever ask for because it's different every time. Random carries that extra little... Um, nugget of danger when you random. Sometimes you're gonna have a situation like this in which you get Isaac and you feel like you're probably doing pretty well to start with. Sometimes you're gonna end up getting the keeper and that's I guess it's more for the hard runs than for the easy runs that I'm involved here. Um, just just because we should test ourselves a little bit. You know if you get those Eden runs I think it makes us a little soft. You start with Mega, you start with Brimstone, it gets a little too easy, right? And then when the hard run actually comes you're not ready for it. I'm, I plan to be ready for it. Know that. The key is to make it, etc, etc. DJ Khaled memes -E -M. How is there not a meme image format yet? I'm not saying there should be because they're of incredible cultural relevance. No, I'm just saying that that would be certainly to have a file format that plays to their strengths might be uh, advantageous and then you could get like a meme file reader. I don't know. This I'm not I'm not making it, but if somebody wants to make it, there you go. The key is to make it as mentioned earlier. Two extra keys for a bomb. It's all right. Uh Can't be too disappointed with the way that it looks so far. I would suppose. Ooh, watch out for that. Get this key. I mean, we're going to be at four keys, 5 cents. Great for getting to uh arcade. At least arcade possibly uh, or possibility. Uh, great for getting to the shop, but not being able to buy anything. That's okay. You know what? I'm really getting a chance to experience Seraphim here. And the fact that these shots not only, uh, are high damage, but also home is really, really useful. Um, for especially finishing off enemies here, but also doing a decent amount of damage, even though they happen so rarely. Um, it, it's kind of like having a tough love familiar that just shoots beside us. I'm relatively for it, I would say. So if we can make sure that these, uh... Seraphim shots are predominantly actually making it through to hit Ragman or Ragman's faces. That would be nice. Yo, that's a little ridiculous. I sincerely thought that there was no chance that we didn't kill that spider. But maybe that spider changed positions with another spider. And I got a little confused by their spider, you know, prestige act there. Okay. I mean, obviously I'm not happy to have lost the spirit heart. Life goes on, though. Thank you, Seraphim. You've gotten the job done. More so than myself, actually. And Synth Oil is not worth re-rolling. Re I know we have a lot of, like, battery charges back there. It's very tempting to be like, re-roll, re-roll. Nah. I'm happy with Seraphim. I'm happy with uh, Synth Oil. Are there better items than Synth Oil? Yes. How likely are we to get one of those better items uh, on one of our three re-rolls? It's plausible. I, I would say it's probably in the minority of likelihood. But, um, which would be a great name for a, for a book or an album or something. The minority of likelihood. Uh, what's it about? Doesn't matter. You've already had the job. I've done half the job for you. All you gotta do is, you know, spend two or three years writing it at this point. <sighs> but we're taking blind rage either way, which is why I wasn't sweating the trinket game in there too much. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize that one was pushable as well. It makes our life very easy. We haven't lost any HP on this floor, right? Triple shot, by the way. Not everybody's cup of tea. But it is my cup of tea, and I'm the one doing the run. I got hit by the fly! I didn't even internalize it! Curse of Darkness has claimed another victim! Totally my own fault, but also... You know, fuck, basically. Um, we could still get a deal with the devil, even if we don't. We're kind of in a good position, but... Uh, that, that, that feels pretty stupid. No bombs in here, either. Uh, honestly, I think we'll buy the card. Card was the moon. Which we definitely should have used to teleport out of our secret, or sorry, out of our curse room instead, but, uh... That's fine. We'll probably still go to our curse room, I just want to see what's going on here. Just in case we end up fighting, like, a hellish boss or something like that. 
Got keys setting us up nicely for the next floor. We're gonna need to not take damage to make it uh, to make it happen. No bombs either. Is that a cat that wants in here? Ruka, would you like to enter this room? I would say you have about five seconds. Yo, was this guy actually called Dangle? If so, it's perfect. Um, you got about five seconds before I'm closing this door on you. I gotta focus on this Dangle fight, man. Okay, he's in. Now, Tomo, it's your choice. The screw, no reroll necessary. No deal with the devil, unfortunately. Okay, buddy, the door is closing. It's really up to you. You got Tomo. Two, one. The cat is locked out. Now, Ruka, you got your own shit to deal with right now. I don't understand why you would stand on. Why are you standing on top of my garbage can? Yo, no! Do not. That's a paper bag with a user manual for like my headphones in it. Why would you want that? You want to eat my headphones? Probably true. Yeah, it's like cat spaghetti. They can't get enough. Cat spaghetti. Mm, this could be okay. Hanged Man allows us to get one of those consumables we couldn't otherwise get. Magician kind of sucks. Let's take the Hanged Man. Ruka, you're freaking me out. I'm going to get you the fudge out of this room if you're not careful. I guess maybe we already got the consumable. We used a bomb. Oh, that's what I, it was a, uh, it was the Tinted Rock right there. But we can't get it because we need a bomb. No, you don't get to jump up there, okay? You get to come down here while I focus on getting a deal with the devil on this floor. I don't know, why would you want to sit on top of the garbage can anyway? I'm not saying it smells like garbage, but it's probably the most likely place to smell like garbage in this entire room next to, like, living inside of the can. Obviously, we take the virus. That's our second syringe. And if we can get, uh, if we can get the spun transformation on this floor, we're out of control. Cats. No! Okay, we're alright. This is, you're, get out of here. You try to add personality to the video, but now you're just being a villain. Next thing you know, you're going to make a text document with uh, all the firing charts for uh, Golf with Friends. Become the true villain you want to see in the world. There's a little bit of self-referentialness uh, there. Using the this keyword. Now, good stuff. Great. You're killing it. Range is decent enough to, to land some of these shots. Don't let him get you. We're good. Uh, we don't really need this key, to be honest with you. We definitely want to go to the curse room, we just can't afford to yet. We got such a nice base. It's such a shame I squandered our, our most likely deal with the devil chance. Or most likely immediate deal with the devil chance, at least. But sometimes it can end up being a blessing in disguise. Now you want out of the room? Yo, cats should be both seen and heard, but more rarely than I'm seeing and hearing you right now. This is getting a little... Ridiculous, you're kind of a silent player in this run. Get out of here. You're out. Go. Get out. Terrorize Tomo. That's what he's here for, is for you to get out your energy on him. Instead of on me. That's, what, that's why your parents, if you're not an only child, that's why you have a sibling. You are there so they can go do parenty stuff. And not have to worry about your ass every two seconds being, oh, I'm bored. Sorry, dad's got to knock out the rent. You know, you, you can be bored. That's all right. You know, in hindsight, definitely should have hanged man there. That's a tough entrance to get to on that, or to, to get through on that room, I guess I should say. And we are actually in a pretty dangerous position, unfortunately. One hit away from complete destruction. Could still get a deal with the devil. Now two hits away from destruction, no matter what. So that's positive. And Chad is an enemy that keeps us alive. But honestly, little Chad without Dark Bomb is not my uh, ideal payout ever, basically. But it's not horrible. We don't get hit here. We still have a chance. That was a little close. Too close for comfort, I'd say. Little Chad. So that's our first reroll. We get Latch Key, which actually gives us a Spirit Heart. No deal with the Devil, so I'm my self-confidence is at an all-time low. No, we know how to do this. Whoa, this is where we want to be. It worked. <laughs> I, I spooked myself out of that room. But uh, we're going to have to go back through it. We know we've done it 100,000 times. That room's not that bad. Just learn that secret. The, the path that you can take. Okay. Luckily, despite the fact that I'm an idiot, we didn't get burned. We actually managed to get a, uh, a demon heart out of uh, Poison Touch there. 
I still want to go to the curse room, even if it takes away our protection for the next floor. It could immediately give us uh, a deal with the devil item. Not precedent, but the item at least. Dude, Seraphim, I'm gaining like a lot of respect for. The moon. Takes us to the secret room. Um, I think if we get a bomb, we're really going to want to use this, because the secret room is probably adjacent to the uh, curse room. So, let's come in here. I think Ball of Tar is okay. Not necessarily great, but okay. And then this room has combat, so we're just on this room to get a reroll. Then we moon. Um, I mean, obviously it would be awesome if there was just like raw liver or pyro or something, you know, Black Lotus in there. But um, we're intending to probably go to our curse room. But what's this rune? Algis. That's good. Uh, the moon, thanks to Curse of the Lost, didn't take us to the curse room. So that's, that's fucking sweet. Um, I think I'm going to use the Hanged Man card somewhat aggressively. We're going to use this to get into our curse room without getting hit, rather than use it to get through that trap room without getting hit. Was it worth it? Honestly, I would say yes. We didn't gain anything from it. Um, but I still feel like it's worth our it's worth our time, you know, to check it. I don't want to reinforce bad habits by saying that wasn't worth it, basically. Okay. We got Algiz. Really hoping we can snag a deal with the devil on the next floor, because I'm not feeling too great about my performance. We've been a little bit carried in spite of it. That's how you handle that room. Um, let's check for a second secret room. Okay, down to the next floor. I don't think we've gotten too unlucky, honestly. I think I've, I've done it to myself to some extent, but uh, if anything, I think we've gotten a little lucky in terms of the actual items we've managed to pick up, so... Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be the first to, to shit on what the game has done for us so far. I appreciate it. It'd be nice if Seraphim could get extra shot speed, like if I could... if I could convey some of my shot speed over to Seraphim. Maybe one day. The technology may exist. For now, no such luck. Okay, that's actually a library back there, which is hugely important when you have the D6. If it's a five-room library, we also are in that rare situation where even though it's early in the game, early-ish at least, uh, we have enough keys to uh, conceivably get in there and get whatever we want. Uh, even if it is locked behind uh, four locks. It's only two books. It's not bad, though. We got Book of Belial and the Bible. We reroll again. Necronomicon. Anarchist Cookbook. We're going to get as many rerolls dumped in here as we can. And if we can get uh, to the shop and buy another battery charge and get through it, that's awesome. I tend to think that... I mean, this might be anecdotal, but it seems like the more libraries you get, the more libraries you get, if that makes sense. You know, getting a library begets you a better chance at getting a library in the future. I, th I don't know if that's true. But anecdotally, I have, you know, some experience to back it up. Is it a plurality of experience? I would say, I don't know. I don't, I don't have, uh, you know, I'm not doing a Fisher T test right here to, to see. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to play the game. We are going to go to the curse room right away. We have the, the spirit arts to back it up for once. Hopefully that doesn't end up backfiring on us too hard. Joker card maybe allows us to expedite a little bit of our, our problematic uh, situation here. And a Joker card. I don't think we use the Joker card. I think what happens is you use Algiz, and you use two of diamonds, and then you take the Joker card. Is that a waste of two of diamonds? No. You're going to say that it is. Here's why it's not. I'm not going back into that curse room. Um, I might as well get value out of the other two cards. And we saved our... Ooh, Curved Horn. We saved ourselves... Ooh, Polyphemus. A half spirit heart, and also gained four cents by using those that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to take advantage of. We're going to get a deal with the devil on this floor. We want to keep our Joker card for future deals with the devil, or future floors where we don't get a deal with the devil, rather. Um, so I think this is a that was actually a good move that took brass fucking balls to do. That's now Dad did it. That's how America does it, and it's worked out pretty well so far. Okay, yeah, we got to be very careful with our shots now because one shot is enough to. Kill these guys, which puts us in a position where the bullets are going to be exploding around us. We're going to go all in on this uh, shop meta here. This floor has been amazing so far. The Polyphemus pickup is disgusting. These get rerolled Book of Sin and Satanic Bible. 
Book of Sin, I would have loved a battery charge. Instead, gave us a two of clubs. Might as well have blown up a, um, a a pot or something. See if there's a quarter in there. But I was also in the market to not take 100 years to finish this. So We shouldn't worry much about boss rush, though. In fact, I'm actually going to go to our shop and see if there's a battery charge for purchase immediately. Or a 9-volt, even. Um, and if there is, then... Ah, forget, forget trying to find the secret room right now. Uh, if there is, we will purchase it. There is a 9-volt. Okay. There's also a car battery. Um, I don't know if that's as useful for us. So we'll start with the 9-volt. Uh, I don't think... Like, with the D6, you just end up over-rolling stuff. So if you don't pick up the books, I don't think it counts as having really seen them. So re-roll these. We get Telepathy for Dummies. Book of Shadows. Still plenty of books left in the rotation here. Car battery also doesn't give you a charge on... Um, on pickup, so it's not like we can really cheese it for another uh, another play here. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be our ceiling for how much we can reroll that room on this floor. But hey, we got um, at the very least a Satanic Bible charge, so a, a demon heart out of it, and took a few books out of the rotation. And if another library shows up, especially if it's like a five book room, we're only one maximum one and a half rerolls away. And you can you can sort of have a half reroll because you can reroll into your remaining books, but then every other uh, extraneous charge just goes to another item. Um, we could get a... Uh, we could get a another charge now that I look at it. Because this is a small room, technically, in terms of, like, what it gets counted as. It's going to take us to four. And we're going to have one more combat on a room that counts as a big room. And then we're going to have the boss fight. We might as well keep our charge ready. Uh, oh, we're going to have way more uh, time than is strictly necessary here. Oh, and another battery charge. Hell yeah. Okay. Maybe we actually will be able to make this worth our while. Okay, come back. Even though our speed's a little slow, or a little low, I guess, more accurately, we're going to come back, go to our library, reroll, pick up our battery charge. Uh, I mean, there's a couple options, I suppose. How to jump. This will guarantee us a cube of meat when we use Book of Revelations on this floor. I think, all things considered, I'm okay with that. Honestly, I think we're just going to grab our reroll and go for it. Uh, forgetting the deal with the devil. I would much rather clear out this entire library. The the downside to this right now is I'm basically saying, like, oh, fuck Boss Rush, man. We're on Caves 2 at 16 minutes. That's when you're supposed to be going down to the Depths 2. Which is funny, because our damage is actually awesome, but, uh... It's, it's only been awesome briefly. Oh, there we go. We got in a new item. So there's Book of Secrets... And also, Lemon Mishap. Uh, we should pick up Lemon Mishap so it doesn't show up again, but... Right, I forgot we had 9-volt as well. That's another reason we got a charge, I guess, as early as we did. Still, great situation. If more libraries show up, there are at least double item rooms. We put in a lot of legwork to get to that point, and the items could still suck. But they could also be good. Alright, let's get a move on here. Again, boss rush is not too fucking likely, but life goes on. So, no need for a reroll here. We know what we're getting into. Uh, maybe a need for a reroll in the deal with the devil. Basically, too bad. Um, mostly, I'll be happy if they actually give us a chance to get precedent this late in the game. Ball of bandages. No chance for precedent. But, uh... Two spirit hearts. And telepills, which will probably fuck me out of my chance to get the joker card. Or the two spirit hearts that were in there. That's what you get for taking pills, I guess. I was like, immediately on the next floor, we're gonna joker card. Try to get precedent that way. Apparently not. That's okay. That's okay. I also uh, almost neglected to mention how huge Curved Horn is for us, so I'm, I'm super stoked to have that. Not a secret room. Hmm. Yep. Goodbye, Joker card. That is a little frustrating, because I did... <laughs> now it was a waste to use our Alges and our, um, and our Two of Diamonds the way that we did. At the same time, it did make it easier for us to get a, uh, uh, for us to get a, uh, the 9-volt, which made it possible for us to liquidate the library, which made it possible for us to liquidate future libraries. So, you know, it's not all bad. Start cracking in here. We've only got one bomb. No matter what, you're only getting four out of those, apparently. Um, I'd, I'd like to get, like, an Emperor card. I would really like to not fight Boss Rush, but, like, skip through a future floor. Because we have put in our due diligence with relatively low damage, where Seraphim was pretty much carrying us 100%. Now we're gonna, you know, reap the benefits, basically. It's like when you go to med school for like 13 years, you come out on the other side, you get paid nicely, you're a doctor. Or, you know, you, you dedicate yourself to 
you know, selflessly serving the public, depending on, you know, the, the path that you take in your career. I'm just saying you, you get the option of having that choice, ideally, after that point. Uh, yeah, we might as well crack it. You never know. Infamy is more than good enough to take. It's desirable. It's not like a compromise. It's it's very solid. I will admit, I almost re-rolled it. I got greedy. In my mind, I was thinking of uh, all the amazing other items we could get in there. Like, maybe we can get a guppy's head and then re-roll it into another guppy item. Or maybe we can get a, uh, a cricket's head or a goat head or something like that. And I thought, you know what? Infamy has served me well in the past. It's one of me runs that I probably shouldn't have won and wouldn't have won without it. Um, we should, we should pay it forward. And just recognize that it's good. Just let it be good for you. I just don't want to be good for you, good for you, radio. That's, that's a song from the radio. Took brass balls to get in there, but got the job done and got it done slightly faster. And the Fallen is a chance, at least, to pick up a, a really good deal with the Devil item. And we might just get a deal with the Devil, which would make that Joker card loss not feel so bad. Oh, we gotta deal with the angel instead. Uh, sure, we want the ability to fly. Unfortunately, can't blow up the angel statue. Fortunately, can get some value in the form of, you know, these spirit hearts. Um, really should not leave this floor before going to the item room. The shop at this point is very secondary, but the item room has to be done. It would, of course, be nice to see if there was a, uh, if there was a, uh, Library available somewhere here as well. Not necessary, but nice. Much like, you know, saying you're welcome after somebody says thank you. I don't even know if it's expected this day and age. Don't think it makes society better or worse, but it's just, you know, it's nice when someone says you're welcome. Figured we'd use our sun card uh, to check and see if there's a library. There's not. We're still going to explore... I'm not going to say everything, but at least we're going to, you know, get to our item room quickly. Which is actually fine. And we'll go to our curse room as well. Uh, which means that boss rush is definitely off the table. Take a deep breath. I mean, there's no, you're not getting an emperor card and killing mom in six seconds here. So, just, just say that it's okay. Whether or not you say it's okay, you're going to have to live with it anyway. So, you might as well get used to it. Don't mind a greed fight. Actually, a steam sale here, which is exactly what we got could make it plausible for us to get another steam sale, which would make everything free. And if we just get restock, then, you know, everything's free forever. Really no reason for us to even do that because we don't uh, gain anything from it, but it's okay. Temperance card. Temperance card is really useful, actually. Maybe we'll just donate money to our shop now? Although with the steam sale, we should look to see if there's another steam sale. That's like, you know, steam sale 101. Now, our damage is really good. We probably shouldn't be relying on Blue Baby's only friend. It's time to get Pandora's box on Necropolis 1. So that's 7 cents for 4 Spirit Hearts, which is unfortunately basically worthless. So I think you throw down Temperance, you start playing this shit out of Temperance. And the hope here is that you're going to get um, any item. Yeah, we don't, we don't need this HP. So we're just going to buy... Eh, we don't even need to buy the Red Heart. Let's just reroll everything now. Um, is that Cursed Eye? No, it's placebo. Um, too bad there's no other battery charge in here. Sure, we'll take Mom's purse, and then we can, you know, get uh, Child's Heart to go along with it. And then we also get two of spades. The two of spades. And let's donate as much money as we can. Donation machine is back in a healthy spot. That went okay. I would rather have had the HP in hindsight, but you, you don't know until you try it, right? Could have gotten something... Incredible. Again, we don't even need something incredible. We just got another steam sale and everything in the shop is free. Maybe that is incredible, now that I think about it. Uh, unlikely to be our secret room, considering we've already found all our secret rooms. Let's head down to the next floor. Nine keys, 18 keys, you know, 100 keys. As long as it's not a daily. Not, uh, not too invested in it. A little slow, even with Lord of the Pit. Which is another reason why the uh, HP upgrade would have been better for us. Speed down! Alright! Sweet! Thanks for... Thanks for listening, game. I appreciate it. You ask for something? It, well, didn't implicitly ask for it. Um, and you get the opposite. Should go back for that money. But you know that once I get down to, uh, you know, the depths too, I'm all about that speed game. And then we try to, like, 
reverse trajectory or reverse thrusters and play careful again on the womb and then I end up being like why am I taking so much dumb damage and I forget that it's because I've internalized that it's time to go fast uh, I still I always undersell blue baby's only friend even though I always oversell it if that makes sense I'm always talking about how good it is and then um, I'm always like I'm not gonna use this and then I use it all the time Samson's chains that is well worth a reroll if we if we could go back, but uh, the uh, the reason it's so good is not just that it does decent damage, it's also that it gives you that uh, ability to break line of sight, which is so important when it comes to not getting hit. You know, we can focus 100% on dodging, enemies basically will not aggro us, and they'll be taking damage in the meantime. So that's the, that's the true value of an item like Blue Baby's Only Friend, even though I mostly am just like, ah, it's pretty good damage-wise, which it also is. I also like... Uh, something having high damage that is static, basically basically like it's irrelevant um, how much our damage is, because it means that uh, if our damage sucks, at least we can rely on this for, you know, some guaranteed half-decent damage long-term. And I do think Blue Baby's friend aspires to that. You, if you're sleeping on this item, it's time to stop sleeping on it. Red Candle, or The Candle, which is actually Blue Candle, it's okay. Habit, that's really good. Not quite the you know, game winner that it pretty much uh, was every single time you got it in vanilla, but still pretty solid. Very tempted to fight the boss, but uh, we don't have to fight the boss if we don't want to fight the boss. Come back here, try to get to our item room. And if we just get to seven more cents, uh, that's, that's another item from our shop. You never know what it could be. Especially on a floor like this. Wheel of Fortune, just blow it up. There's a uh, six cents, so we could blow up our donation machine as much as it is an uncomfortable conversation. It's one worth having. It's not really that uncomfortable. I've done far worse to our donation machine. I took it from 999 cents to zero that one time, and we're still kind of living in that post-donation machine universe. Uh, thank God I didn't have to get it back to 999 for, for anything in Afterbirth. Just had to get the Greed Mode donation machine to 999 instead. No biggie, though. Ah, that's all in the past. We got a thousand and one. I told you it would happen eventually. And it did. Lusty Blood is a beautiful item well worth walking back for. Um, that's the thing. People, every time a new game comes out, everyone's like, Oh, I'm crunching to get these achievements as soon as possible. That's one philosophy. I'm not even saying it's the wrong philosophy. I just have a, a more zen philosophy of, if we like it, we're going to play it forever. Um, so if we get it, blue map's all right. If we get it today, we get it today. If we get it two years from now, we get it two years from now. I'm just going to do things my own way. And uh, eventually, we're all going to end up in the same spot. I'm not talking about, you know, dead in the ground, although probably that as well. Uh, what I mean, rather, in this case, is, um, you know, we're all going to get to 1,001%. There are some things you have to actively pursue. That doesn't run counter to my philosophy. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, you got to... To slow down, you move too fast, etc. Trying to do some orbital damage here. Red Mom's a pain in the butt, though. Um, no deal. Take the Polaroid. Yeah, no deal. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. Still got uh, two of spades in case we get Guppy's Tail or something later. Take advantage of it. Sort of see where we're going. Looks like up is a decent direction. As Shania Twain said, up, 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 can only go up from here. Yeah, and really, like, for Shania, I just shook my head when I heard that song. Because I was like, you get that we live on a sphere, right? So, like, there's no place you can only go up from. If you were in, like, the, even if you were at the core of the Earth, I guess you could only go up from there. But if you were, like, even a mile below the surface of wherever you lived... You could still go down deeper, Shania. You gotta learn a little bit more about Earth and space sciences, okay? In fact, I mean, what even is up when you live in a three-dimensional plane? Is it north? You can only go north from here? You go north long enough, you end up just being south again. As we all know. Could teleport uh, to the second secret room. I think that would be a silly decision. That doesn't mean it wouldn't be funny, but I think it would be silly. Well, we have no idea where we're supposed to go, in actuality. I'm still- I'm falling into the, this bad habit. I've got triple shot polyphemus lusty blood, and I'm still like, 
Let's use cube of meat, or ball of bandages in this case. Let's use ball of bandages and, uh... Blue Baby's only friend to deal all of our damage. In, in whatever, like, mild defense for myself I can offer, um, you know, this is a, uh, a situation in which... Our rate of fire is pretty low, but still. Still. Okay, the gaz this shit for no reason. Keep two of spades with you, you may end up needing it in the future. Where the heck is our boss fight? I mean, we might as well check our secret room. Skeleton key would be nice. Then we don't need two of spades anymore. Infested. I can see forever. Infested? <laughs> Infested, Isaac! Alright, dead end. Infested? Oh, I got surprised. I thought that maybe that would be infested, but apparently not. Okay, I mean, I guess we're one-shotting everything in this room, no matter what we use. But it would be really nice to get some, like, definitive damage from our deal with the devil so that we knew... Okay, we're going to exclusively use our tears from this point onward. Because as of right now, it's still nebulous, you know? What's what's driving the bus here? Could be our tears. I mean, Lusty Blood only makes them better, but... But still, oh my god. It's not like I wanted to fight Hush on this run. I did just finish recording a daily. We fought Hush on said daily. So I'm not, like, overly attached to the Hush option here. I'm just saying, like, considering we have blue map, we've been doing a little bit of, you know, manual cartography here. We're supposed to let the machines do that. I thought we lived in 2016. Decent. Decent. And even better than decent. Getting out of this room without getting hit is now, like, my life's mission at every available opportunity. That room has been really annoying. Um, D12 is bad and not worth fighting for. Are there other batteries remaining? Yes. Am I going to prioritize them if they're out of the way? No, because I'm lazy. Even uh, butt bombs at this point. Look, I like them. But they're not going to be that integral to our success at this point. What is going to be integral to our success is the chance at a deal with the angel or devil item here. And we didn't get it. So I would probably just leave at this point. Sorry, Bud Bombs, you can be good. I don't disagree. I just disagree with your uh, your usefulness right now. Curse of the Unknown is irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. I don't expect to get hit more than like, you know, six or seven times on this floor. Um, I would also really, really like to find the boss faster. I'm not in a rush. But it's it's always nice to do as few rooms as possible unless you're absolutely steamrolling or looking for daily points. You know, it's just if if you can if you can write a program that that does the the task in uh, you know, 30 lines of code, a lot of the time you'd rather do that than do it in uh, than do it in 200, you know? It, it might uh, come out in the wash, but uh, there's there's some value to elegance, I'd say. Okay, if we're playing smart, we should still maximize, you know, the outlying cases that could help us, like blowing these guys up. There's also a tinted rock over here. Bombs are key. Uh, it's fine, especially considering we have this two of uh, two of spades cards still holding it down here. Um, this could be our correct path. You know what? We're only like five seconds away from being able to fight Hush. I don't want to fight Hush, but it is flattering to know that we almost got there. Ah, we'll give him two cents. We could use like a reroll on a crystal ball. It was unlikely, but you know, it was a good try. And we'll still continue to hold two of spades for reasons unbeknownst, I guess. Okay, now would be a great time. Just give me a deal with the angel. I would totally fight the angel statue for uh, the reroll chance on the key piece and whatever else is in there. Um, okay, try to get... Damage done. Multiple sources. It's working well enough. Doing this with your hands and also trying to dodge at the same time is a little bit tricky. But we got it done. And we did get a deal with the angel. Please be good. That's like not at all good. Why leave this... Uh this other eternal heart, because it doesn't matter. You know, if we pick it up now, if we don't pick it up, it, we're, we're gonna be fine. Uh, we got Dead Dove, which is okay. I honestly think maybe we stick with Child's Heart. We pretty much have like no need for uh, Maggie's Faith at this point. It could only give us one more HP. I'd rather have a better chance to fill our red hearts if, if things get tough. 
Alright, Curse of the Lost. It's annoying. But uh, we're set up fairly nicely here. The Dead Dove does give you Spectral Tears, right? Like, our shots look a little bit more translucent. Seems like they probably did hook us up here. Uh, the one thing I will say that is, like, a huge actual detriment about Curse of the Lost is that uh, probably I will not be bombing my way through rooms. Just because you don't want to use a bomb and then be like, oh, I don't know where I am anymore. So, we'll probably stick to just beating the rooms. Which we should be able to do very easily. Um, just just to keep our place on the map kind of like obvious. You know, you don't want to, if you're backtracking all the time, you don't want to walk through, you know, 10 rooms you might have already been through and then have to use a bomb on them each time. But I can easily be persuaded if there's like an envy room to just tell it to go fuck itself. I used the Ansu's rune. I want you to ask me if I'm proud of myself. I'm not proud of myself. <laughs> At first I was like, this is awesome. This is going to purge the curse and give me vision. And then I said to myself, why do you think this is somehow a Degas rune? And uh, I was unhappy with the... Uh, I was unhappy with the outcome of that. As far as big rooms go, you know, one daddy long legs is basically the same. I mean, there's spiders, but apart from that, it's basically the same as the small room. Hello, Kate. Sarah. What's up? Okay. You're gonna get some kind of a small snack. Ooh, we might as well take it. Uh, you can get whatever you want. I'm I'm not hungry. No, I, uh, I had lunch after my stream. Alright. Uh, oh man, with that door open. Feel that cool apartment air coming in. And all the stale air from my day spent inside of this office. Rushing out. Reaching some kind of like barometric equilibrium. That feels good. 33 minutes. I mean, it's not a, uh, it's not a short run, but it's certainly not... Even close to being on the longer side of the runs that we've had. And we're pretty much unkillable. The only thing, I mean, I guess I would love to have, like, a guppy transformation, of course, because you always would. Um, but I also would love to have, like, a, a failsafe. If not nine lives, you know, Dark Judas, the Ankh, etc., etc. But I'd be very, very surprised if I ended up taking enough damage to justify getting it. This could... No, we've already been that way. And then we've been this way and came back. Yeah, okay. This is why I hate Curse of the Lost. Cause I get lost. It's not, that one needs a little bit of punching up. I just rhymed lost with lost. Songs are weird, man. People always get so bent out of shape about like the rhyming in a song. It's like songs are not a test of who can make the cleverest rhymes. This, we're not living in, you know, the Middle Ages anymore. It's not about having, like, language proficiency necessarily. It's about making a point, man. People always use it as some, like, independent arbiter of who's good at music. They'll be like, Kanye West said keep it 300 like the Romans, but it wasn't actually the Romans. It was the Spartans. You're like, yo, it's, that is uh, an aside to the point of the actual song. And, you know, the, the counter-argument you hear for that is, what, so we can just make, make stuff up? Yeah, that's literally, like, what songs are and I know Kanye West is a hot button issue himself because he acts the fool in public I'm just using him as an example you know and people you know songs songs are made up there's no independent uh, universal objective criteria for what makes them good or bad necessarily that's not to say there aren't songs that I would consider pretty much objectively great or horrible uh, that being said you know uh, one rhyme here or there that strikes you as anti-intellectual does not necessarily a bad song make in my opinion at least we're about to beat Isaac here and we'll have a reroll ready for our next floor immediately um, I mean he's he's clearly dead we should be fine 11 HP will be 12 because of the eternal heart on the next floor. The only question is really going to be, are we going to get shit or are we going to get awesome stuff? And we will not even know that until we pick it up. Able is bad. Lost Contact is okay. Number two is pretty good in my opinion. Sad Onion is pretty good too. Um, 
All in all, they were all passives, so not too sad about it. Also, it turns out we didn't need to pick up uh, butt bombs because we basically got them later anyway. Uh, I would I would say that this is a probably slightly above average haul. Now that's going to be the steam sale, so we'll take uh, fat odd mushroom instead. Oh, Hex, how did NL know that it was fat or a skinny odd mushroom when he picked it up? Well, that's because it, when I picked it up, the text was uh, fire rate up. As opposed to whatever it says when you take fat odd mushroom, I'm going to assume that it's damage up. I know, sometimes, sometimes I impress even myself. Ooh, I don't know how I got so screwed there. I honestly think we should be taking a pretty aggressive approach here. Um, you know, we, we have the ability to, to nuke down enemies quickly. If we can get in there and not really hurt ourselves, or have a, a super high risk to hurt ourselves, while also being able to drop, uh, you know, a number two bomb in such a position that the explosion is liable to hit the enemy. Two of clubs, that's pretty good. Um, then I, I say we take it, like... It's, uh, it's an advantage. Same thing for... Oh, never mind. We're just going to use the Emperor. So we have one. Um, same thing for uh, for Cube of Meat slash Ball of Bandages here. We're going to get in there and do as much damage as possible. Because it doesn't really make sense for us not to because we're going to live anyway. You don't get a bonus for living with a certain amount of HP left over at the end. A little bit uneconomical if we had lower HP, but in that case, it was easy enough. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.